I was lucky enough that my first ever proper NFT purchase has over 10x in value in less than six months. Today, I'm gonna to be telling you the story of my first ever NFT purchase, a VFriend. Hello everyone, my name is Ethan Rushok and this is a bit of a different video. I'm moving off from the tax related topics or the crypto related topics, but I'm moving into the NFT sphere. So I've done a couple of videos on NFTs before, so if you don't know what an NFT is, go and check out my video, What is NFTs? And that'll give you a bit of an explanation. And I did do a video talking about vFriends and what it was, but this was before launch. So today I'm gonna to be talking to you about my first ever NFT purchase, a vFriend. So my main focus this video is gonna be talking about the process behind my thought patterns of why I chose to go with the vFriend project for my first ever NFT purchase. I'll be talking to you about the journey of the value of that, the roller coaster journey that it's been, and then I'll be giving you a bit of my general thoughts on NFT projects and what I would look for in a longer term NFT project. So if you want more in-depth on what vFriends is, go and watch my video on what is vFriends. But as I said, that was done just before the launch, so things have changed a bit. But in general, vFriends is the Gary V NFT project. So I believe there was 10,255 NFTs released and I was lucky enough that I managed to buy one on day one of the launch. So it was a really exciting thing for me because I followed Gary Vee for a long time, which I'll get into in a second, but I managed to get one on launch day. So I've been following Gary Vee since I believe 2015 when I discovered the Ask Gary Vee show and went and binge watched about 200 episodes in two weeks. So I've been following him since then. I've listened to his audio books. I've read the books. I've watched the YouTube content. I've really delved deep into the world of Gary Vee and really believe a lot of the things he has and he has really motivated me a lot of the way with my business. And I'm really a strong believer in a lot of his ethics and his work ethic and a lot of what he believes is true in business and what makes successful businesses and successful business owners. And therefore, when he started talking about NFTs, I really paid attention because I've seen him start talking about things in the past that maybe I come in a bit late to. So I really wanted to get into NFTs and go, okay, he's talking about, he's got the attention, you know, this is a smart guy. He's obviously done his own research. Let's do my own research into that area now. So as soon as he started talking about having one Ethan new wallet and I'd seen that the groundwork was being laid for him to launch an NFT project, straight away I knew I wanted to get involved no matter what the cost was. I knew that I wanted to get involved because I wanted to back that project because I do believe in it genuinely and I believe in Gary Vee long term and therefore I believe not only would it educate me on NFTs, I believe it would bring a monetary value to it in the long term. So before this, the only thing I had played around when it come to NFTs was NBA Top Shot. So this was my first delving deep into a particular project. So the Gary V NFT project, V Friends, was the first time I actually really researched a project and then obviously the first time I laid down my own money for a project. And I do really think there's three key things behind a successful NFT project. So it's one, who is the team behind it or the person behind it? So in this case, obviously it had Gary V backing, it was his project, therefore that definitely got a big tick from me. The second thing is what is the community like around that person or around that team or around that project? And Gary V already has such a strong community that back him in no matter what he does. So whether it's a book launch or a keynote, he already has such a strong community. So I knew that the community of V friends would be the community of Gary V. So straight away, that one got a big tick from me. And then the third one, which is the one that I think is really unique to the VFriend project, is what is the access or usability of the NFT? So Gary V's NFTs have a range of different accesses. Go and check some of that out from, you know, interviews with Gary for his for podcasts or whether it's getting to hang out with Gary or whether it's access to VCon. There's also different utility of the tokens. And the NFT project VFriends definitely gets a big tick when it comes to access and value and usage of the NFT. So that's a bit about why VFriends was important to me, but let's talk about the money side of it. So I'll bring it up here. So my first purchase back in May when I got the NFT, it was worth $3,986.95 market value of ETH to purchase it. So I believe it cost me 0.75 ETH, which included the purchase and the gas fees relating to that purchase. So I managed to get myself a core V frame. So that's the most basic level. All it does is gives you access to VCon, which I'll talk about in a minute. And I got myself a truculent T-Rex. So I wasn't too fussed about which particular character I got. There was a few I eyed off before this, but then eventually I'd set myself on, I really wanted one of these T-Rexes. So I watched the auctions. They were done by a Dutch auction and I was following, following, following. And then I eventually jumped in and going, yeah, I'm happy with the price it was. I was really happy that I got it with gas fees for 0.75 ETH. So straight away, this allows me now 
three years of access to VCon. So whether I make it to all three years or not, that didn't matter to me because I figured, well, at bare minimum, this is a three-year ticket to VCon. And this equates to about $1,300 for a yearly ticket, which I thought no matter what, I think I'll be able to easily recoup that money. If I went, you know what, the project's no good. I don't want to back it for some reason. I want to sell it. I'm not going to go to the conferences. I thought, well, people are going to pay that price for a conference ticket anyway. Not that you can buy it for VCon, but the equivalent to other conferences of what they're worth, I thought, well, straight away, I'm easily going to be able to recoup that money. So the value of my V friend has been a bit of a roller coaster. The Dutch auction finished a few days later and pretty much everything sold out really quickly. All the cores sold out definitely. So I knew straight away that I'd easily be able to recoup my money if I wanted to sell a few days later. Obviously, I didn't want to do that, but I knew that, okay, well, at least my investment, I could get that back straight away if I needed. The project did start to rise pretty quickly afterwards and it wasn't long before I go, well, I could easily double my money off this. Now, it was hard to equate this because the ETH price at the time was a bit all over the place. So I was constantly doing conversions just out of my interest to go, well, what's the floor price at the moment? What does that convert back to Australian dollars after fees? Where does that relate to my initial purchase? And it wasn't long before they were worth about eight or nine ETH. And I remember looking at the time, I think it was worth about $30,000 and thought, wow, my $4,000 investment is worth 30,000 within a couple months. The value has continued to bounce around, has continued to rise at times. And at the highest point, I believe it was worth about 24 ETH was the floor price, somewhere around that mark. And that was just before the Gary V Christie's auction announcement. It seems to be the way that happens in the NFT and crypto world that sometimes the lead up to an announcement sees the higher prices. And then when an announcement happens, even if it's good, it does seem to drop back down. Just seems to be the way this world works. So at that stage, I believe my VFRAM was worth around 90,000 Australian dollars. Now it has come back down. And as you'll see here, as at the time of recording, the floor price for VFRAMs is about 8.14 ETH which equates to about $50,000 Australian. So you can see that's over a 10X result off my initial investment. Now, people go, well, could you actually sell it for that? Well, that's the floor price and I have no issues thinking that I'd be able to sell. I do believe the T-Rex is a little bit rarer than some of the other core V friends, purely because there is only two dinosaur types. I can't remember what the other one is, but there's only two. So there's only 80 dinosaur V friends in total. So it is the rarest out of all the categories when you're comparing to mammals and aliens, etc. I don't plan on selling anytime soon. I do really want to get to at least one VCon. So next year's is in Minnesota in May. I don't think I'll probably get to that one, but I would love to get to the one either the year after or the year after that. And I honestly believe in the project long term. So I'm going to be holding the project. I can already see some of the cool things that Gary's been doing along the way. And I think the value will only continue to grow. Now I did say I'd get into some of my thoughts on NFTs in general. And I, I have touched on a bit through the video, but I really think access or utility to the project is a really key thing. I'm not really that interested in ones that are just the art because I don't know if I quite see the value. I think a lot of them are really overvalued because one, the arts aren't anything too spectacular when it comes to art wise. I think some of these profile picture projects, etc., are a bit overvalued. I think some of the real OG projects do hold value and I think they will hold value long terms, but I think there are a lot of projects that I could see trash and burn. I think that does bring into the fact that some first to market things are going to be good. So like Gary has talked about, this is his first ever NFT project. It will always remain the first NFT project he ever does. And therefore, I think that holds value. So I think the first of things or the first year of things is going to hold value long term, like any kind of collectible, you know, the first comic of a series or the first appearance of a character in a TV show or a comic, etc. normally holds more value than other things, even if it might not be the best version of that. One day, I really want to launch my own NFT projects. So that's something I am starting the planning of. This could be a 12, 18 month process, but I have a lot of ideas about how I can reward my early community and how I can produce an NFT project that provides utility and value to people in the long term and continues to reward them. So these are some of the things I've been thinking about and it's definitely a watch this space area. I want to hear from you. What NFT projects have you got involved in or are you a hater on NFTs? Do you not believe in them? Let me know in the comments. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. Check out some of the other content on my channel. And I thank you for watching.